Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel Barnon11970. And as always, I want to take the time to thank you for listening to what I have to say. And hopefully, you'll take something positive out of my message, which if somebody actually does that, will show that everything happens for a reason and you can take any negative situation that presents itself learn from it and turn it into something positive basically the whole making lemonade out of lemons kind of scenario so I'm not gonna get into full details or anything because it's just for me just doesn't it's not really the point but um, those of you who've been following my channel for a while know I have another YouTube channel that's based on comic books. I've never really hidden that fact. I just don't talk about either channel that much on the other channels because they really don't have anything to do with each other, so I kind of keep them separate. Not to hide them or not because I'm ashamed of them. It's just because they're just not relevant to one another. This channel is all about um, me sharing my life history and sharing information, whether you find it truthful or helpful. I leave that up to you to verify. My other channel is something that keeps me happy for the most part. It's about being able to collect things that I enjoyed since I was a child so they just really don't really connect with each other but I have mentioned it so it's not like I've been hiding it but um, I came back to that other channel about a year ago after some interesting situations that happened some accusations and all this other fun stuff and trust me there's a method to this so p uh, please bear with me and I hope you listen to the whole thing um, I haven't done or said anything in the past year and as a matter of fact one of the people that had supposed issues with me a couple of months ago actually private messaged me one day asked for forgiveness I won't say who it is they know who they are but the, what was said between he and I in a private message will stay private but I thought that was so nice and it was one of the first people that actually did that and we've been cool ever since now obviously I don't think I'm gonna be the godfather of his next child or vice versa but we are very civil, and I subscribe to his channel, he subscribes to mine, and when we have the occasion, we'll see each other on a video and say positive things. I think that is amazing. And it also shows that people can change, because that came out of left field. That, that message just came to me one day, I was totally not expecting it, made my day. But ever since that kind of situation I've been on that channel doing just talking about my comics and then on here when as you could see um, <laughs> I'm still banned from making live streams um, even though as you could see I have no copyright strikes and no community guidelines but we're not going to get into that negative stuff here YouTube is just good at that kind of stuff and we'll leave it at that but I somebody sent me a link on my other channel to a video and they didn't say you know what it was about they said just check it so I clicked on it and it came up to a channel I've never heard of before the voice kinda sounded familiar but I wasn't sure who it was at first until after listening for a few minutes I knew who this individual was now this was a person that like many people on my original comic book channel that I had I used to do live shows where I would help people promote their channels if they were selling comics I allowed people to sell them I had an auction site that I did and I charged a total of zero dollars for them to do it never asked for a piece of it at all did it out of my own kindness sometimes up to three or four hours helping other people and got backstabbed and had a lot of accusations my way for whatever reasons I don't know so I thought basically um, when I came back because I took a year off and shut down my original channel because I was basically being bullied and ganged up on and back then I really cared about strangers opinions of me for some strange reason and I got over emotional with it because I always say if you let your emotions run wild they will affect you and if you don't learn from them it keeps getting worse and you'll build up so I shut down the channel and took about a year to well probably eight months off and then I got to the point where I missed it because they were people that came for the right reasons and I had a lot of fun interacting with that I missed. So I recreated the channel and started up again. So it's been a little bit over a year now that I've been back to that other channel. 
haven't talked about anything to anyone, just minding my own business, talking about comics. I mean, I think the first month I tried doing the live shows on somebody else's channel and it just didn't work out. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to even do that. I excluded the live shows from inviting anybody on my live shows anymore because I didn't want that stuff to ever happen again. Learned from it. Like I say on this channel all the time, learn from your mistakes. They happen for a reason. So long story short, like I said, somebody sent me a link to a video. I didn't know who they were at first until I listened for a few minutes. And this individual basically accused me of things that I didn't do, like having multiple eBay accounts, basically calling me a liar and a deceiver, which bothers me. And I, I, I don't know if it's, I just feel it from the, I guess the Irish, English and Italian in me. And like maybe the Scorpio and the New Yorker in me. I don't like my integrity being questioned, especially when I didn't lie about something. And it really bothered me that people were saying all this stuff. So I made a video to debunk this person's accusations not because I had to prove anything not because I wanted to get back into that silly stuff I did it for me and I want to show people about this and this is where you can learn from this stuff that's why I'm so actually glad this happened because the way I'm dealing with it now is so different than I would have I would be cursing up a storm pointing out names and getting over emotional but I learned from it and I grew from it so I'm seeing it from another perspective which means you'll be tested in life and just because you get over things or think you improve something in your life or you get over something does not mean it's not going to come back and show its, you know, its evil head. Because, like, for example, anybody that's ever been an alcoholic or somebody that abused drugs or something, you know the temptation will eventually come back. And that's the test, the true test of your strength. That can you have that somehow try and reappear in your life and you are able to defeat it or handle it in a way that you couldn't do before? So sometimes it's like an echo. When you send your name out in the canyon or yell out something, it takes a while before it comes back. So sometimes in life, you can overcome an obstacle or, you know, patch an old relationship or some kind of situation will happen. And then all of a sudden, something comes back at you to test to see in life, have you really beaten it or is it you've just avoided it. So sometimes life is going to throw you a test and say, here, here's the thing that made you turn into an alcoholic or made you want to think about committing suicide or getting into drugs or getting into a deep depression or getting very angry. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Because whatever it was, if it affected you, it doesn't matter if everybody else thinks it's silly or you're being overdramatic or something. If it's something that affects your life in a negative way, then it is there for you to deal with for whatever reason, and it makes it valid, even if others can't appreciate it, understand it, or even know about it. So this situation comes up again. So instead of going back and forth and doing name-calling and all the stuff that I would have done or get mad and say, oh, here we go again, I'm being unfairly ganged up on, I made a video showing... All of the comic books I've sold since roughly 2015, my eBay account, and it shows, you could see it, that it's been open since 2004, and a couple of the comics that they said that I was selling all over the place were in those 10 to 15. There were like five of them, and that was back in 2015. Since 2015, I sold a total of two. Now, there's nothing wrong with selling books anyway, but basically what was happening is I was being accused of s lying by basically supposedly having multiple eBay accounts selling books in other accounts. So they basically were calling me a liar, calling me a fraud, basically calling me a deceiver. And that really hurt me, especially from people that I assumed were friends. I mean, internet friends, but, you know, people I didn't think I had a problem with. So when I s saw the video, like after about, it was like a two-hour video, and there's no way I'm going to watch that for two hours. I listened for about 15 minutes, and all of a sudden my name comes up, and they make the accusation. And I'm like, it is what it is. Now, I made the video, didn't mention any names, just said, you know, there's an old saying, and I even say it in the video, 
that if you tell the truth, you don't have to have, have, to have a good memory. In other words, you know how many people make up lies and then later on, maybe days, weeks, months, or even years pass, and then all of a sudden their story changes? It's because that's what it was. It was a story. And a lot of times you forget the details of whatever story you were making up when you're being dishonest. But if you're telling the truth, you know exactly what occurred because there's nothing to remember as far as a story because there's nothing that's changed. It is how it was. So all I did was is make a video showing the comics that I sold, which is nothing wrong with it. It's not like I stole them or anything. They were mine. But to show that I had no reason to have multiple eBay accounts when I've had this particular one since 2004 and haven't sold anything like between 2004 and 2015, the channel was basically inactive, except for buying stuff. But the point I'm trying to make is, is when it comes to your life, you're going to have challenges that affect you emotionally, physically, socially, economically, who knows? It depends on the situation. And you can get to the point where you're brave enough to say enough is enough, or I'm going to learn from it and bring something positive out of it. And let's say, for example, you smoke and you wanted to quit smoking because you know smoking is bad for you. And maybe it took, you know, going to the doctors because you had this really bad cough and they said, you know, you have the potential of being one of those candidates that could end up with lung cancer. And they show you, you know, a picture of your lungs and say, look how much tar is in your lungs. If you keep this up, you're going to die. And maybe one day you decide and say, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. And you quit smoking. And you quit smoking for five years. You don't allow anybody to smoke in your house. You decide to not go to bars anymore because you don't want to be around it. And you think, I've gotten this beat because you've managed to push it out of your life. Out of sight, out of mind. And then one day, maybe your best friend or your family member or something goes to get married. Or has some kind of special occasion where they're going to celebrate at a bar. And it's something that you pretty much have to go to. And then all of a sudden... You're having a few drinks, and you see all your friends, like they still are, smoking, and you get tempted because it's there. That's the true test. Because it's easy to avoid something when it's not there. That doesn't take challenge. That doesn't take strength. It just takes you to not be in this situation. But if you can face these things, if they come back and say, hey... I'm back and you can defeat it or walk away or say no or look at it in a different way or not be affected the way you once were affected then it shows your growth and your progress and like I've said in other videos even if you change even if you defeat one of your demons or multiple of demons or you get out of depression or you finally get that job you've been searching and crawling and blood sweat and tears for it, if if you had a family member where you had a fight with them and all of a sudden you patch things up or people like on YouTube who will make accusations and say things that are just not true and we all know very well I mean just look at the mainstream media how many people will believe things without verification just because you change doesn't mean the world outside changes how you deal with it is the real factor and that's why for example for the past year on my other channel I've avoided any of that drama stuff. I haven't gone on any live shows in about a year. I haven't had a video where I invited anybody onto my channel anymore. I don't do the auction sites. I don't do the sometimes live shows up to eight hours long. I don't do that stuff anymore. I just focused on comics. I got over, at least I thought, all of those things that people were saying. Avoided it all. And then all of a sudden... It re-approached itself today. Now, as far as I know, it's probably been happening for a long time because every one of my videos on my comic book channel gets about anywhere from 3 up to 60 thumbs down from anonymous people. And I got to the point where the old me used to would get upset about that. For some reason, I cared. 
Now I find it funny because I'm like, well, it's free advertisement. But that situation with the accusation came up today. Now, I don't know how long it's been going because I haven't been following any of their channels. I have no interest in this. And the only reason I even went is somebody said click on a link and I didn't know what it was. And I didn't even recognize the channel because this person had a different channel. So I didn't know who it was until I was listening about, like I said, about 10, 15 minutes in. Then I really understood who it was. And I'm like, really? But the point is, I'm not upset. I'm not angry. I was disappointed. I think it's kind of sad that people would make accusations and other people would believe it to be true. But then I realized I can only control what I do and how I feel and how I deal with things. I cannot control somebody else. Just like, for example, if somebody has a belief that's different from yours and they are so passionate about that belief, you cannot convince them to change if they don't want to. It's like an alcoholic. And unfortunately, I grew up with one growing up as a child from the age of 10 to about 25 to 26 years old. I think I've told these stories before. But you could take an alcoholic to a rehab and they can even go because they were pressured. But if they don't go because they want to, they'll never change. It's when life presents that curveball that struck you out days, weeks, months, or years ago that can come back and test you this time. Can you get through it? Will you be scared and say, oh no, I'm afraid to go up to bat because there's that strikeout pitch that gets me every time. There's that curveball. What do I... You go up to the plate. You do your best. If you strike out, that's part of life. But if you've learned and you've studied and you researched and you looked at it from a different angle, maybe you might get that hit that you couldn't get before. So what I want to do is practice what I preach. Because, yes, is it disappointing? There are supposed adults that communicate in such negative, hateful ways. Of course it's it's disappointing. Is it hurtful that people you put trust in and people you tried to help would basically be the opposite of what you thought they were and make accusations that are just not true? Yeah, it hurts. I'm not going to lie. But it no longer affects me the way it does because it just shows there are sometimes people in this world that are mean, that are cruel, that have alternative motives for whatever reason. And... No matter what you do in life sometimes, there are going to be people who will hate you, resent you, or at the very least just not like you. Maybe just because you are what they wish to be. Now, I can't say that's everybody in life. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you know, everybody's jealous. Because that's, that's, that would be my ego talking. And that would be silly of me to do. The point is, I don't really at this point care about their motives or those who will follow along with somebody's accusations without verification just because other people did something that they wanted to fit into because like I said and I think I said it in one of my other videos I made recently that one of the things I've learned, I wish I knew who had this quote, so if anybody knows it, because I'm not directly quoting it, I don't think, because I've heard it from someone, but if anybody knows who the quote originally comes from, please post it in the comments section, because I know there's a lot of people that are subscribed to me that are a heck of a lot smarter than I am. But it basically goes, the saying basically goes, when you argue with a fool, you come away with the knowledge that there were two fools in the conversation. And that's an interesting thing because one of the biggest problems we all experience, or shall I say challenges, is dealing with our own inner ego. Because our ego doesn't ever want to say we're wrong. Our ego doesn't ever want to say anything bad. It's like, you know, you ever watch those movies where you have an angel on one shoulder and you have the devil on the other shoulder? It's kind of like that. The, e the ego is kind of like that little red devil on your shoulder trying to make you always to be the righteous one or, you know, do what you want. 
the old me would have always tried to defend myself. And the ironic part is the more I tried to defend myself, the more people accused me of being overdramatic. But I just wanted the truth out there because I was hurt. And that's why even on this channel way back, I mean, I'm talking 2010, 2011, before I really ever really understood the Internet and what it was all about, I couldn't understand the hate that people can send over the Internet. And I'm not talking about just me. I mean, you go any YouTuber out there worth any grain of salt the more popular you get or the more people that pay attention to you the more negativity will come your way and it can be hurtful but if you continue to allow it to hurt you whatever it is in life then you have not grown even if you have avoided the situation for or thought you got past it life is a learning lesson and I am proud this happened and there's gonna be people that are not gonna believe me there are gonna be people who are gonna join other sides and that's fine because as far as I'm concerned I said my piece I showed the proof I said here you know like I say if you if you tell the truth you don't have to have a, a good memory I said you draw your own conclusions and then it's done the old me would have wanted to keep it going and going back and forth and point out names and get into all this stuff I've grown. I've gotten past that. So I handled it differently. And here I am on this channel sharing this situation in the hopes that somebody listening, whether they're watching it the second I post it or two years after it's been posted, and they come away from this video with something positive then how could the scenario ever be looked at as bad? Because like I've said, negativity in your life is not always bad. Because you could be on a roller coaster and be scared to death riding that roller coaster. But isn't it exciting? Not knowing is not always bad. You ever have a present from Christmas or your birthday? or some occasion where you have this package in front of you and you have no idea what's in it is that bad because you don't know or is it exciting that you're about to find out and this world is so much the glass is half empty always seeing well if you don't know that's scary instead of saying well if you don't know I can't wait to find out because, you know, you ever hear people about relationships that most of the excitement is in the chase? Where it's like all fun and games trying to get that woman or get that man in your life. And then all of a sudden you get them and that thrill and that moment is gone. And how many people end up breaking up or getting divorces or whatever because the chase was the goal? Or somebody who's a shopaholic? who gets that excitement of that knock on the door from the UPS guy or the you know Federal Express person or somebody from Amazon sending you a package and then once you open it that excitement's gone and it's like any other drug you need to keep filling it and it ends up being an endless black hole trying to fill a void instead of learning why do you feel that need to be that way so you never learn from it so it keeps happening so I'm very glad that this scenario crept back in do I want it to be that way of course not can I control what other people do and say and think absolutely not but can I come out of a scenario that I would have handled so much worse back in the days and take it in a whole new light and turn it into something positive that is this very video because I promise you I may not get thousands of views here anymore because we know what YouTube is doing. I mean, like you could see in the image, no strikes, no guideline problems, and yet disabled and ineligible for live shows. And I used to do all my videos, especially in the past couple of years, with the live shows because I liked interacting with people live. But if it helps one person, then it happened for a reason. And maybe it got somebody to say, well, if... Chris can go through this stuff 
and I've shared some of the negative things in my life, and I got so many other stories I can share at one point or another if people are interested. But it can show that if somebody says, well, Chris is going through all this stuff, and yet he's still trying to remain positive. He's trying to look for the good in the situation. He's not sitting there saying, woe is me, because I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. It's not about that. It's about thinking you're past something that could have hurt you or angered you or whatever. And all of a sudden it goes away because you avoid it. Thinking, that's it, I've solved that problem. And then it comes back again. That's life's boomerang. Waiting to see what you're going to do when it comes back again. Are you going to let it affect you? Are you going to go back to your old ways? Because even if you do, it doesn't mean you have to stay that way. You ever see somebody that's an alcoholic and they've gone to rehab five, six, seven, a dozen times? Sometimes you're going to fall. But like a famous song once said, if I get, I get knocked down, I get up again. So it's not the fall that is the failure. It is the failure to get up from the fall. And that is always a choice. So I hope this video helps someone. And I guarantee you, if you read the comment section, it may take a little while because, like I said, YouTube is hiding this channel as much as possible. Yeah, you're going to see a couple of thumbs down. You're going to get those from the anonymous people. It doesn't matter what I say. I, I don't care what they do. But you, I want you to read the comments, and I promise you there will be at least one, if not more, comments where somebody said, this came to me at the exact right moment I needed to hear it. Do you think that's a coincidence? You can. I sure don't. Now, somebody can call me crazy because I believe that. But I cannot control somebody else's beliefs or somebody else's way of life. I can only be me. I can only do me. Just like the same with you. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully sharing scenarios, though, in the way I am handling Because you don't hear me mad. You don't hear my voice fluctuating up and down, going into some tirade where it sounds like a rant. You don't hear me crying and sobbing. You don't hear me playing the victim saying, oh, feel sorry for me, woe is me. It's me telling a story as almost if I was telling it from somebody else's point of view. And that's when you know that something in your life may be presented itself to just see if you are full of you know what or not, or you really were past it. And again, that doesn't guarantee that it'll change anyone. I'm the one that changed from it. And that's all that matters. If no one else changes, that's them. If people want to live their life negative and making false accusations and making themselves out to be the victim just so they can get people to like them or listen to them or be near them or associate with them, that is up to them. I don't know other people's lives and what they live and how they feel and what they truly are about. And negative people will never get the light of day from me used to and that's growth so hopefully this video can inspire somebody else to want to grow don't hide from your problems don't think that just because they haven't shown their you know their ugly rearing head that you're past it sometimes you're going to be tested sometimes over and over and over again till you get to the point of saying woe was me if you get knocked down 20 times, you get up 20 times. You don't get knocked down once and say, that's it. Because then you're forever grounded. You will never get a chance to fly if you're, if you're too afraid to get off the ground. And this should show, sharing parts of my life, that sometimes bad things are going to happen. Bad people are going to come into your life. There may be misunderstandings or things taken out of context or just people just exploiting somebody else for their own reasons. And you can't control that. All you can do is be yourself, be as true to yourself as possible, try and be as honest as possible. Of course, nobody's perfect. But like I said, if you are telling the truth about a scenario, you don't have to have a good memory. It's when you have to keep thinking up a lie. You have to remember whatever story that you told. And eventually, liars always get exposed. 
And that's why one of the sentences I said in the last comment I made on my other channel to one of my subscribers before I decided to come here and make this video is the following. By their deeds, you shall know them. And what that basically means is there are going to be plenty of people that will point fingers. There will be plenty of people that make up stories. There will be plenty of people that make accusations or blow things out of proportion. And they may even be very convincible or believable. But that doesn't make them right. Always remember that. So that's where I've grown because I have no need to spend the rest of my life having to defend my integrity to basically a bunch of internet strangers who have nothing but negative things to say. I worry about those of you that are still listening to this, who appreciate it, who maybe will even benefit from it. Because I will never ask you to listen to this and say, oh, now you have to give me something. That's not what life should be about. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will definitely be reading the comments. Like I said, I don't really respond to them as much anymore because I think it's just more emotionally easier for me to just read the comments. It, it, can, get emo like, it can get draining having lots of comments, even good ones, but like having to respond for sometimes it would be hours at a time because not only is it the comments... It's the emails. and But don't think I don't appreciate them. So please don't ever hesitate from writing them because I will read them. If this helped, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that's the only thing I ask. If you want to share this, that's amazing. If you want to subscribe, check out my videos. Um, until YouTube changes their you know policy of not honoring their guidelines and I could do live shows again they're going to have to be this way and I don't know when I'll be doing another one but as you can see recently I've made a couple of videos so I will do my best when I feel motivated to say something that could benefit somebody and I promise you somebody's going to be appreciating this video and if they aren't I appreciated it so thanks for listening have a great night and I look forward to hearing from you in the future.